This is Richard at HHO for Volts, and I'm releasing into the uh, general public uh, the uh, development that we did when working with the uh, Starship Mueller design. Uh, this is an anti-cogging, not only anti-cogging, but an increased uh, yield on coil output and current reduction of that drive coil. Uh, as the, we're coming up here to look at basically the assembly. There's aluminum tube. Inside that aluminum tube, there are 16 uh, any uh, 42 magnets. Those are very small. They're square uh, magnets. And the aluminum tube may or may not have any bearing on its operation. Um, but go ahead and duplicate it using the aluminum tubing. And we're using, I think there's about eight, you'll have to count them in the next uh, slide, uh, Russian ferrite rods, and uh, the Q is 400. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's eight there. And uh, you can see the end magnet, the number 16 magnet, uh, flush with the uh, aluminum tube ending. So uh, most people, in fact, I think everybody's given up on the UK Romero Mueller thing. It was a joke. It was a hoax. So this is our uh, Starship uh, motor, which you go back and look at our other videos to see the whole construction. So we drilled a hole through the top panel to expose our uh, uh, access, get our access to there. And you can see one of the uh, magnets. That's an N42, two inch by one inch round. And we're going to now, the next slide here is put in uh, a starship coil underneath that board. Okay, so, uh, and while I'm, while I'm at this, I am just sick and tired of these idiots looking at maybe my first video of a project and just posting stupid things. I'm about ready just to pull all my videos off the internet. Okay, so here we have this inserted in uh, the top. And getting back to that, uh, you know, everything I posted, you can build. After you build it, and if it doesn't work, then you have the right to post your negative comments. Now you can see it stop in through the top. Actually, the coil was uh, in, was actually shown mounted, but I just want to show you what it looks like in relationship to the magnets on the wheel. Uh, this is an absolute fantastic approach. Now I can't tell you it's going to work for another coil design, but it will work for the the Starship coil, and uh, it's absolutely quiet. When you hear this run, uh, even though it's, it, it, it has a magnetic uh, uh, ferrite cores, there is no noise whatsoever. And so the next one here we're going to show you, okay, it's protruding through that coil that's mounted on the bottom top of the panel. You can see the other coils that are mounted on the bottom. Uh, originally our design was to have 36 coils, top and bottom. And uh, my uh, backer, Right when we were ready to get the prototype built, backed out of it. So he wasted a lot of money with me, wasted a lot of money, and wasted my time. So now we come up to where you can see kind of the spacing. And when you, uh, there is, it is critical on that pushing how far through because you, then you'll get to where you get uh, a cogging effect. So you want to do it, and you can see how it works by just gently spinning the wheel, and it will slow down, and suddenly the, the magnet will speed up. Uh, and it's just slightly show down there. So it's, it's actually, uh, we pick up quite a few RPMs and our current drops. So uh, go ahead and use this design. Uh, it's out there. That's why I published it. Uh, thank you for watching. This is HHO for Volts.